Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about two chainsaw sharpeners. I did a review on this chainsaw sharpener about two years ago and I said, hey, this is the best chainsaw sharpener on the market. Well, there was a Timberline brand, which is made in the U.S. I had no idea there was even a brand called Timberline. I just went on Amazon and found a uh, chainsaw sharpener, ordered it, and I liked it. Made a video about it. Uh, it, did, it did good, so I'm not going to knock it. But I had so many people ask, you know, why didn't you get the Timberline? Why didn't you get the one made in America? Well, finally, it just, it, it just keeps going on and on and on. I literally ordered this, paid for it out of my own pocket. I ordered another new one, paid for it out of my own pocket. So this is not a sponsored video in any way. But I wanted to see if the Timberline was so much better than this little Chinese made knockoff. Okay, from just first glance, there's no doubt that the one made in the USA, this is this is the Timberline. It is much heavier built. Uh, I always make this uh, this joke that uh, somebody asks me, goes, so, you know, where's your where's your sharpener at before? Well, the reason I don't have the original one of these is because I wasn't paying attention and I dropped it out and backed over it with a tractor and it actually crushed these uh, ears together the the actual cranks there's no doubt that the timberline is a lot better quality it's heavier built it just feels a lot better i mean it, the, everything about it if you take the crank let's just put them side by side again and you can just see the the ease of holding this is so much better the thickness the feel everything about it's just heavier built on the american timberline and this one's a little this one is a little cheesy but at the end of the day, how strong does it really need to be? Both of them have replaceable race. You can uh, take these little Allen screws out here and uh, order order new uh, you know races for the grinder. However, in the in the Chinese made one, it's it's so cheap. You might as well just order a new one if they ever go bad. There's two other things here. The you have on the this is the pieces that actually push the chain forward and keep the keep the cutter in the right place when you put the the uh, grinder through that it grinds in the right place well this gives you some flexibility from left side to right side uh, the original one that we had uh, from the chinese version was not as wide as this i and sometimes you had to play around to make sure that you got the the little catch here hung on the tooth of the chain it looks like they've addressed that and made this considerably wider now this is a machine surface here and you can see that if i wiggle this back and forth the american made timberline is it's got it has to have some play in it but this one is considerably uh it's got a lot more play we'll say a lot more tolerance we'll call it that so the little knobs that you tighten down on the bar this is the timberline uh they seem to be they feel like good quality they've got a little bit of bite so if you got a little oil in your on your thumbs, uh, the, the you could still tighten these down. And then on the the one made in China here, I, you know there's really nothing bad to say about these. They actually feel pretty good. Overall, the quality of each build is I would say is acceptable. Uh, however, the the Timberline is absolutely better. Moving the uh, I'll call it the amble in and out seems to be no issues i can say that this screw is a little bit thinner a little bit lighter duty so you can see on the timberline that the anvil moving in and out it's a little bit more precise and the screw the hardware is just you know considerably heavier so the timberline comes with what i would call a um like a it's a really high quality carbide cutter uh, this would be like something you would see on a machine shop. The, the Chinese version of it has like a diamond impregnated cutter. Um, and it comes with four of these. In my experience, they they last a pretty good while. But uh, I don't think they're going to last as long as these cutters do right here. This is a, a high-quality file. 
And these are fairly expensive, so don't lose these. So both of these are set up to put a 30 degree cut on your chain, and that is it. This is made for like some more professional sawers. There are so many different saw cutters out there. So the, I guess the, the main question is, is you know, yes, this one, the, the Made in America one is a little bit prettier. Uh, it feels a lot better, but does it work any better than the Chinese one? Let's go find out. So I learned this by watching a, a single video and also, you know, obviously I'm a man, I'm not going to follow the instructions. So all I did was take, take the uh, cutter and I went ahead and put in the cup of the tooth. Uh, for this life of me, I can't think of what that's called right now. And you tighten these knobs down and it should be able to rotate forward. If you've got it too low, it won't rotate forward. There was a piece of wood up here from the stump sticking up. Didn't see that. So we're just going to go forward. And then when you get behind the tooth that you want, then you back up and then your these little catch catches hold it out. So now we're just going to move the chain forward. Once you get it set, where you're right at the edge of the cutter, you'll just start turn, rotating it and going in. And you want to rotate this one to the front because of the way the cutter cuts. This rotates, you know, clockwise. Go ahead and give it a little bit more cut. So it seems like it's done a pretty good job. Let's pull it out. So that looks pretty good. So we're just going to move it to the next tooth. Once we go past it, pull it back to the stop. And you should, this should line up and start with another perfect skip. Next tooth, and then go to the, so all the angles are on the same side. This puts a factory edge on that's like nobody's business. You also straighten out a, a chain if you've gotten off with your hand file. And you can tell here that I've been hand filing this one. And uh, I've, I'm off on some of the teeth. I'm a little bit off. And this will put it right back into factory angles okay let's try that I like that one that one works really good now this is new and improved from when I used it the first time so this one may be even better than the original one the original one I used the little Chinese version was pretty handy pretty handy um, let's see that's the tooth I need to be on right there And I will, you know, there's no doubt that the one made in America, the Timberline, is much heavier built. No doubt at all that that's the case. But at some point, you know, it's just extra weight you have to carry around. You gotta be smarter than what you're working with. Make sure my teeth move back and forth. Seems to. Now this is their cutter, and it's way different. If you see, 
because of the flexibility here, this cutter, or the, the, the stop, the, the actual chain stop, is rotating out of the way and letting the chains still slide by it. I don't know if we can put a little tension on this knob to, this pushes against the chain. That seems to push the, the, the tooth over to the other side. So I've been getting a lot of comments saying that the, the new, you see what, when I when I push this out to try to push the chain forward, so I can tighten tighten this up and actually make it cut. As I tighten it, I push it out, it jumps the tooth. That's been a big comment. Uh, so obviously up front, this the fact that this has got so much play left to right, this is no longer a viable product, and that's why I keep getting. Uh, negative comments saying that hey this thing is not any good well the original one that i tested was really good uh, and i really like it and it, it did exactly what i showed but this one here uh, you can see that it's this head has twisted past the tooth so when you it lets the tooth go up under it it doesn't catch it and that's because it's got so much play like this so they need to either tighten up their tolerances or quit selling these. So this obviously the Timberline is much better and it's made maintain their quality control. So kudos to them. And all you have to do is just keep going through. Catch the every the every other tooth. Catch the every other tooth. I'm not sure that's a saying. And just ease it in and cut it clean. It really straightens the teeth back out to a good factory edge. So once you get it set up, it's, it goes really easy. You can see it just rotates right through. You can do your whole chain and just, I mean, put it back almost factory in just a few minutes. So all those people, over the last year or so, I've got a lot of comments on the other video saying that the, the Chinese version has, didn't work anymore. So another, another comment that I've got, or many times I've got this, is that this, is, this was a Timberline design that uh, the Chinese stole. Uh, and then kind of made a little bit different, pretty much right down the same colors, but... Uh, when I first started using the one I went on Amazon and just got one, uh, I got a lot of negative comments saying, hey, why didn't you buy an American one? Because I didn't even know, and, and Timberline doesn't sell these on Amazon. So, you know, most uh, Americans now, we'll go to Amazon and look for things. And that's exactly what I did. And it wasn't even an option on Amazon. I had to order this directly uh, from Timberline. I believe it's worth it though. If you're gonna do this every day, if you're gonna chainsaw a lot, this is this is legitimate right here. So I had somebody on one of the last videos that for some reason when I did the editing, I never showed it sharpening the other side. And they're like, you didn't sharpen but one side. And, I, and it was hard to explain sometimes to people that in the world of editing, you know, things happen. Uh, I went ahead and backed that off just a little bit, thinking that it might, uh, it actually, when I went from this side to the other side, it was almost perfect. Just minor adjustments. I'll take it just a little tighter. But once you get it set up, and that's probably my rookie mistake, it's 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 you can sharpen the chain really fast.
So on my last video, I got a lot of comments saying that the this sharpener, this type sharpener, did not uh, uh, keep the rakes in the right height. And that is true. You, all you need to do is put your, your rake uh, gauge on there, and then you can just file your rakes down. However, I don't feel like I need to adjust my rake height every time I sharpen the chain. Uh, because every time you're using the chain, it is wearing a little bit of rake off as you go. So just put, running my fingers across the, these teeth, they're razor sharp. I feel pretty good about this. So the Timberline did a really good job. My rakes are spot on. This is red oak, so we're going to give it a shot. Obviously, we can't test the little Chinese version because it just didn't... It just doesn't work. Uh, the one I got two years ago worked perfectly. And, you know, I don't know what happened since in the last two years. But, yeah, it doesn't work. This is red oak. Let's make a couple passes through here and see how it does. I'm pretty happy with this. That's the kind of chips that's pulling out of red oak. You can see how fast I was going with this. That's a, that's a that log's been on the ground for about six months. And timberline, I like it. Good job.